Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm about to showcase you guys basically the best settings for a low-end PC user or a low-end gaming PC, the best settings you possibly can get and best performance you can possibly get on the Yuzu emulator. But before we get started, please make sure you guys do like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to this channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, before we get started, everything you guys would need and everything I showcase in this video will be in the description down below. So as you guys follow through this video, you can follow along with me, get the tools and basically copying whatever I'm doing. So, all right. So first things first, the thing you guys are going to need most importantly is the 60, 60 FPS mod increase. Uh, assist 60 fps hack basically that increase your performance on any game and also on the github page with aka yuzu mods most games are usually 60 80 percent of the games come with the 60 on uh, 60 fps mod also that comes with a, a 920 times 18 resolution because certain games can't play at that capacity for some reason which is weird like mostly a lot of games have 60 FPS mods. So it really doesn't matter what you use. I believe all of them work the same way. They even have a 4K resolution, which is crazy for Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's insane. But yeah, I'll leave this in the description down below. As always, 60 FPS. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need to do is go to the configure settings. Now, as you go to the configure settings, there's gonna be a couple of things you guys are gonna need to do. Um, all these check, all these boxes that are checked are usually good. You're gonna use OpenGL over Vulkan, and I would say mess around with these a little bit. But if these two for some reason does not work, just uncheck box both of these. And then basically play on normal, not high, play on normal and the default settings. Go try to go 2X or 4X. If not, go back to default. It's really depending on the PC. If you have a really, really slow PC, you gotta be messing around with the settings like crazy. But if you have like a moderate or a, the, your graphics card is like a couple years kind of old, um, mess around these settings a little bit, like go around with the, um, use fast GPU time, disable it, enable it. You, your experience may be good, but if you have a really old graphics card, you, you're going to be have to be experienced with a lot of these settings to get the best possible experience you possibly can playing the games on this emulator. That's just the reality of it. So yeah, audio, you can mess around with audio too. Put on, um, put on null. Usually back in the day, when you mess with old emulators like the Citra emulator, when you disable the audio, you tend to have um, your your experience. It tends to be a little bit better because you have kind of have no lag. But you can you leave it on audio auto or null. No, but I just leave it on auto. Just press OK on that. You're basically good. And then after that, the 60 FPS mod. You go to open mod data location. And what you do here is you drag and drop it. Yep, it's the one with the E X E F S. Go to properties, 60 FPS enabled. Okay on that. And to basically know that it's enabled, you have to basically go on properties and make sure this is on 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 um, basically checked. But automatically usually, usually does that, so you guys don't need to worry about that too much. And then you just press OK. And then after that, we can go to the NVIDIA control panel. And wait for this to load up. Uh, it's going to take a while. Alrighty. And with this. You can use your preferred preference. Now, since you're trying to get the best out of your low end PC, you're gonna go to mostly performance. You just basically apply to that. 
and then it's gonna it's gonna take a while for it to basically apply in. Yep, applied in. Now we here go to high performance the video processor. As you guys see my settings, make sure you guys have the same exact settings as me to basically get the best out of your low end PC. And then after you do that, have the same thing as me, just apply it. You can pause the video to see what settings I have to get a much better picture of what I, what settings I put some of these things are, but I went a little bit slow for you guys to get a good glimpse of it. All right, that should be good for you guys. All right, so then after that, go to program settings. And as you're on program settings, you're gonna go to add, gonna add the Yuzu, add select the program. And as you add it, you're supposed to have apply. But I guess I already applied it already. So that's, <laughs> I guess, and no, no, no. Also, you need to use high performance in the video processor to basically get the best experience. And after that, you just apply it. And then after you do that, you just basically close it. And then you guys are basically all set and go. You should, after this, you should see a better experience when you're playing on the user emulator. If you guys kind of don't see your performance not proving so much, like I said, mess around with the settings a little bit more. Uh, go to the video control panel mess with those settings a little bit more because everybody's PC is different. This is the general settings I use for low end PC users. And what I've seen, I, what, from my sample side, I seen it works for almost 90 to 95% low end PC users see a mass improvements when they copy to my settings. But if you guys don't see any improvements, like I said, mess around the settings a little bit more, uh, basically, Google um, certain terms about your PC, and then you f you finally figure out at some point which settings work is works best for your um, PC, or basically get a new graphics card, or basically get a new gaming PC. But I know a lot of people don't want to do that, but that's just the reality of it. So that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to like, share, also subscribe, guys. If you're new to the channel, and I see you guys in the next one. Peace out.